one of the um, one of the big things about understanding your home page is whether or not you have set it as the latest post page or another page in your site. So uh, to start, I just wanted to show you the differences. We're going to go into settings here and reading. And you can see that right here, it says front page displays your latest posts. Now, if I select a static page, and let's just say I make it a page that I've created called home and press save, then come out here and refresh. You can see that the whole layout changes. Now for the title, it's the home, it's the actual page that we set. And the content that would come in below would be anything we put in that page. Now, right now I have that page is empty, so there is no content. But that's the, the basics, a lot, um, just understanding how the static uh, page works. So I'm going to leave that on, um, on home or on the latest post just to for an example but I recommend that everyone switch it to a page so now if we refresh okay so now we're back to latest post as the title and then our blog post I'm gonna come into theme options and I'm gonna click on home layout and just look at how this works so right now on the home page I have display a sidebar and I've got it as a full width I could choose this and pick a side and it would show a sidebar and then I can actually choose the widget area that would show in that sidebar you have a drop down here with extra stuff the the layout manager allows you to control what is in the page and so as you can see now right now what's enabled is page title and page content that's what's showing up here is this is the page title and this is the page content and that page content is only there because we have selected the latest posts for the home page so if I move page content off and page title off and hit save then it would clear the home page there wouldn't be anything there so refresh and as you can see, nothing on your home page. So now, if I wanted to add back in, let's say, a portfolio carousel. Now, for this demo, I've already created portfolio posts, and those are all set in the portfolio menu. So I have posts, I have posts with featured images. I can enable this and click Save. Now, if I refresh, you can see right here, I've got recent projects and here's my portfolio posts and they all work in a carousel and this is how the home page works so now I've just got all these modules that I can go through and look at which one I want to use so icon menu can add that in put it above the portfolio carousel and then I'm gonna scroll down on my home page To where I come to home icon menu and now I've already got some preset up but you could come in here and choose an icon that's built into the theme add a title if you wanted to you can add a description and a link and you can choose if that opens in a new tab or not and then you can create more icons and if you wanted to use your own you can upload and you can choose how many columns so I've set up four icons right here so I've got it set to four columns and then you can even choose if you want to select a background color so let's say I wanted the background to be oh let's just go with transparent as an example and I want the color to be black and then save now if I refresh you can see that the icon menu is black on a transparent black background until the hover over and this hover over is set by your primary color and then the text turns white so whatever your primary color is 
that'll be the background when you hover over. So coming back into our home layout manager, let's just throw some other things in there. You can add featured products. You can switch out. Let's say I don't want a carousel of the portfolio. I want the full, um, just a full layout of them. And just to show you, if I add page title back into the top, that's going to mean I have latest posts now. Is going to be my page title. So I'm going to scroll down here and there's options for each one of these. So if I go into the portfolio full settings, I can add a title. I can select a category if I want to limit it to one category. I can turn on the filter and I can choose how many items. So let's say I want oh six items. And I want them in three columns. And then I'll turn on display the type. And I want the light box and save. If I refresh. You can see now that I have latest posts as the title. I've got my icon menu. I've got featured products showing up here. Then I've got a portfolio grid that I've set the title for. I've got the type showing, and I even got a light box link. So now I'm going to go back into here and I'm going to show you how you can do all of this with Page Builder as well. So I'm going to take off everything that's enabled. And I'm just going to enable Page Content and save. OK, so because right now I have selected that my home page is the latest post page, it's going to show just posts. But what I want to do is go into reading, into my settings reading, and switch this to a static page, and I'm going to select Home and Save. Now I'm going to go into my Pages menu, click to edit the home page, and then I'm going to click over here on Page Builder. Now I have the option to add rows, add widgets, um, but for the, the sake of this I'm going to go ahead and set a pre-built layout into it. So I'm going to use example page. This, this comes already in with the premium theme. So what that does is it builds a layout for me. I can click update now when I refresh, it gives me the content inside that page that I just built. So you can see I have these nice boxes of text with icons, a uh, button here with a call to action and latest post carousel and a map and that's all done with the pre-built so you can come in here and edit these I could change the icon, the title, colors I can also use I have another pre-built layout here called example page 2 update and I can refresh you can see that now I have a page with icon menu featured products 
featured projects, latest posts, and even a call to action at the bottom. And this is all set up with Page Builder, so you don't even need to use the interface inside the theme options. Now, the last thing we want to set up is a slider so we have our home page complete. So if we go to theme options, we're going to go to slider settings. And right now it's set on none, which is why we didn't have any on the front page. So let's just go in, we're going to just show you what a flex slider would look like. I've set up two slides here in the theme options and you can have change your max height, your max width, autoplay, the pause time that determines how long the slide stays visible before it switches to the next one. You can turn on captions right here. So save, refresh up front. Now you can see that the home page has this flex slider with the two images we set. So if I go back into here, I recommend you definitely try out these sliders. There's a lot to, to choose from here. The one, probably the most popular, would be the Revolution slider. Now this requires that you set up a slider in the Revolution slider area. Um, I'm assuming that you've already done that. So you ha would have this option if you're choosing the revolution slider you have to pick which one you want to show and I've just created one and I'll click save now if I refresh you can see that the revolution slider is now showing on the front page And uh, hopefully that helps your understanding of the home page.